Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm Sean. And you're watching Get What Matters on Press Pass LA, where we... Get you what matters. We're never going to stop saying yes. that. <laughs> every time. Yes. So we are about a week out from yes. Women's March, which was just an amazing, amazing thing that started with literally one woman. Sean, you love the stories. So I'm going to let you take it away. Yes. One woman, I think she's a grandmother in Hawaii, uh, was so discouraged, I guess you would say, with everything going on politically in the world and decided to take to Facebook, which most of us do to vent about our problems. And she went to sleep with about, I think, 40 comments. And she just was like a call to action that she was going to start this movement and woke up with 10,000 uh, 10, responses. 10,000 people saying, yes, I will march. And this this just expanded. I mean, Crazy. Cities <laughs> all over, I mean, all over the U.S., Nashville, Atlanta, D.C., L.A. But internationally is where I think it's even that much more amazing. I mean, it's amazing that we all came together in America, but outside of America, so Brazil, many people were. Paris, New Zealand, people were inspired. Yes. By, like our fight for equality yes. and love and yes. so you live downtown you, you want me to tell them that you were sleeping when I, I was downtown for the march I texted him he was asleep Okay, I was leaving for a little bit just to rest up so I could give all of my energy to all, the energy. all of the energy to it the was march. Long. It was eight to four. <laughs> but yeah, we yes. both ended up out there marching downtown and it was it was an amazing Oh my god, yes. You had so many people turned out. I think apparently uh Kerry Washington was there, I know for sure Debbie Allen was there. You had so many public figures coming out to speak on behalf of, but not only there, but in Washington and New York. Yeah, there was America Ferrara gave a speech. Ashley, du Ashley Judd read the right. poem of a 19-year-old girl that was so inspiring. Chanel Monet, Alicia Keys, the list goes on and on. People in the inauguration. We'll just, we'll just leave we'll that. See, we'll just leave that right there. <laughs> but there was about a million people in the yes. downtown. We were there. It was so inspiring. And it made me think, like, what am I going to do after this? You know, what am I going to do over the next four years? So. I want you to share what you're going to do, Sean, then I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, well, here I am again, sharing what I do first. Um, I, what I'm going to do, I think is what I've always aimed to do, which is just kind of encourage and motivate people to uh, be themselves. We're like a permission-based society. So I want to give people permission to just live their best life and do whatever they want to do. Do you? Unapologetically. And I want people to kind of educate themselves a little bit more, including myself, because I wasn't so much an activist, you know, going up into this election. And it yes. really opened my eyes. <laughs> I became a freedom fighter. <laughs> so, seriously, it really opened my eyes and I want to learn more about who's kind of running for the local positions, right. even right. in LA, because that affects you on a day-to-day basis. -day right. So just educate yourself and educate yourself what the other side is thinking because there's really no way to move forward and kind of cross that grit and bridge that gap and right. you don't understand where they're right. coming from. So yeah. be yourself, educate yourself, and leave a comment below. Let us know what you're going to be doing in the next four years. Tag Press Pass LA, of course. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. Yes.